The Chandelure Islands support Louisiana's only marine seagrass beds and the only turtle grass meadows across a nearly 1,000 kilometer coastal stretch between West Florida and Central Texas. These islands have been eroding for many decades due to storm impacts and are currently part of a large scale restoration effort. We're part of a team that is developing a long-term plan for monitoring and managing the seagrass within this important ecosystem to ensure it remains a thriving biodiversity hotspot. Numerous fish species and invertebrates rely on these seagrass beds, and Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, the most endangered sea turtle species in the world, also use these seagrasses for grazing and nesting. So to guide restoration targets for the seagrass, we're using current and historical data, remote sensing, and numerical modeling to create three things. Detailed maps showing where seagrass currently grows, where it grew in the past, and how it's been impacted by storms. Predictions of how seagrass distribution might change in the future in response to large-scale restoration. And guidelines on options for cost-effective monitoring for seagrass, such as using remote sensing. The restoration of the Chandelure Islands is complex and uncertain, but has the potential to be informed by science and we're really excited to be working on this project. Give us a follow for more updates.